Gemini, what's up? <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nun. So I'm here to do your general slash love reading for November, my G. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, lay some cards out just to see what's going on with you. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Gemini. Give no fitnocks. Info for private readings will be below the video. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. All right, Jimmy. For November, you got bones for casting, which is divination here. This kind of date, Jimmy. You are being thrown a bone here. Ritual casting of crystals, beans, sticks, or stones, and the interpretation of omens have always been used by shamans to assist with changes and challenges. Um, the true art of divination comes from being aware of everything around you. Make it a habit to ask the spirits and forces of nature for the advice you seek. To fully hone your intuition and trust what you see, go outside and observe. Pay attention. The signs and messages you've been asking for are straight or excuse me, are staring you in the face Ask spirit and the forces of nature for advice and knowledge. Be observant. Trust your intuition. You already have the answers. Basically, Jimmy. That came out with your card, actually, the lovers, but it came out reversed and then it came out with God's authority of ass thumbs. This was very like simple, very plain for me, Gemini. There's something you're not seeing that God is trying. God is trying to tell you something right now. Right. You supposed to be Suge Avery. You ain't being Suge Avery up in the church right now. You be in the other Suge at Harpo's juke joint. Sister, you've been on my mind. Oh, sister. That's, that's where you are. You ain't in the church. You in the juke joint, basically, is what that's saying, Gemini. Is that too far back? No, that's cool. Yeah, I hate. Anyway, the flashcards that you got for November, Gemini, you got the chair. This is my uh, being single card or separating from somebody card, but this is also taking that time out, you know what I mean, to uh, talk to God. It's a white wall there. So it's like the, I heard J uh, Michael Jackson and that shit came out. Mike came out, but I'll get to that part. But the writings on the wall is what I'm hearing. But you don't see it, Gemini, or somebody in regards to you. This may be someone else. The tamarind came out right next to that, which is my spirituality card. That's why I knew this is like God's trying to tell you something. So if you're losing shit right now, Gemini, pers people, places and things, and you feel like uh, separated or alone, I feel like this is purposely done. This is the hierophant card down here, this tamarind to me. So it's almost like your spirituality takes precedent over everything else because you need to ascend. This is my ascent. This is my slab of ribs card, but this is also my ascension card, my Jacob's ladder card. The xylophone sticks are going up towards the light. You can only do that if you're by yourself. Your journey, Gemini, is your own journey is what I'm picking up on. And you're being separated from people, places and things because of that. But you still don't see that it's for your good is what I'm picking up with this lovers reverse in this message card or someone in regards to you. They don't, they don't see the signs. They don't see the signs. There's no ace of base in that motherfucker at all. Gee, at all. Anyway, the, uh, card you got for your general slash love energy in November. You got the queen of cups with the two of pinnacles. Then you got the wealthy man with Michael Jackson. Told you that motherfucker came out. Then you got the Five of Pentacles with Amy Winehouse and John Lennon. Just them two motherfuckers together with the Five of Pentacles. Good love. What kind of relationship was this here? Got the Temperance Reverse with the King of Swords, which is also you, Gemini, to me, with the Distant Horizons card. And then you got the Knight of Cups with the Knight of Pentacal with the Mature Man and Lady Gaga. Gemini, you could be dealing with another Gemini. You could be dealing with a Taurus, um, Sagittarius here, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Anyway, Gemini, generally speaking, I'm picking up on a couple things. There is somebody, either you or somebody in regards to you, Gemini, that uh, cannot commit to rehab, G. They tried to make me go to rehab, but I said no, no, no. Amy Winehouse with the Five of Pentacles. Fuck that rehab. That's what they said. That's what they had said. Now, I me, mean, it could have been a church rehab or some type of program or something. They can't, they can't commit. They can't take a knee because they were wearing all white. This is somebody who ain't ready to change yet. They're going to get back on that dope, just so you know. Ike Turner going to be like, I, I thought I quit that narcotic now, but, 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 but and the man was t -t -t too damn hard now. Get, 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 get in the car and, and, and wrote some new songs. This this motherfucker right here. They got an excuse for why they left. King of Swords with the damn 
Distant Horizons car. Shit don't make no sense. They even more fucking bad shit crazy. Even more so. That's for somebody. They too old to be doing that shit too. Anyway. Gemini, make sure that, uh, I'm being told, make sure that your name is on contracts that you sign. I don't know how the fuck you would sign some shit with your name ain't on it, but that must be you not paying attention to some things, right? Or someone in regards to you with the lover's reverse. But it's almost like a... I don't know, something that you've been waiting on or wanting, this is not for everybody, but something that somebody's been waiting on and wanting, they got so damn excited about it, they didn't even read the shit. Wealthy men, they just heard the money and all the shit and just signed the shit. Michael Jackson, that's what it reminded me of with him trying to get his uh, masters and shit back from Sony. It's almost like Mike should have had that shit. That was Mike's shit, regardless. If anybody should have had the rights to their masters, it should have been Michael fucking Jackson. But he didn't handle his business. You know what I mean? He was just happy to be singing and made good money, the king of pop and didn't even know Sony was dicking him. That's what I'm talking about with you, uh, Gemini. Make sure that you uh, read the fine print on shit that you sign in in November, G. I feel like it could possibly affect your money, good or bad, but just make sure, G. Okay? Okay. I feel like uh, this goes for all of you Geminis to me. I feel like you guys uh, are, uh, it's not daydreaming. You would probably think that. Like some of y'all are gonna be like, am I fucking crazy? Why am I thinking about shit like this? With the temperance reverse with the king of swords and the distant horizons. You're not crazy, but the fact that you're not listening to God's authoritative ass thumbs is why your spirit guide is reversed. So it's coming off like that. This You're not asking for guidance. So at that point, it's just like you sitting in the fucking, when I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscious call. That's your conscious calling, G. That's what that shit is. You ain't crazy, Gemini. God is trying to tell you something, G, so you can excel or ascend. You or somebody in regards to you, G. It's time for you to, I feel like, start over, really. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles with the mature man. And Lady Gaga is almost like time for you to start over and be your authentic self. So in regards to your job, love, whatever the fuck, it feels like a, it, honestly, Gemini, what it feels like is you've been somewhere too long, G. Or you've been in a situation too long or been a, always, always been that way. You've been Bryce and Tiller too long, G. There's like some habit, some relationship, something you do that you, it's time for you to separate yourself from or you will be separated. God is trying to give you the option to separate yourself. He is. But I feel like shit just gonna just, I mean, you're going to be separated, G. You will. Let me see. Somebody may get some uh, news that they have to uh, give some money to a spouse. Probably some old court shit. Somebody got some... Uh, financial statements information on somebody i don't know who it is but somebody got something they've been slowly but surely collecting shit on some motherfucker and now they finally got it all balanced out right and they about to take that shit five of pentacles they about to take somebody i feel like this is court or a separation here like maybe the divorce is already going through but now motherfuckers is getting that money because amy winehouse told you she was trouble don't you know she's no good? This person was never no good, Gemini. You shouldn't have took a knee. You might have, like I said, you might have married this person. You shouldn't have committed to this person. This person is money hungry as fuck. Whoever the fuck that's for. Somebody just want the dough. I love the dough more than you know. Basically. But, Gemini, I also feel like this is a, uh, you kind of overworking yourself a little bit too, driving you a little bit crazy. Because Michael Jackson is out here with the live your life off the wall, living off the wall, ooh, tonight. You got to leave that nine to five up on the shelf, hey, and just enjoy yourself, ooh, hey, let the madness and the music get to you, life ain't so bad at all. Living off the wall. Life ain't so bad not knowing what's coming tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's the excitement of it. Put the nine to five on the shelf. This is telling me, that's why I said you're doing something that's constant, the same thing, either daily routine, the same person or something. And you ain't living off the wall, G. You got to put that, that shit you've been working for, nine to five, constantly. Look like you ain't really getting shit out of it. Put that shit on the shelf. Leave that nine to five on the shelf and just enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? Life ain't so bad at all, Gemini. You're ascending. It may seem like it. You might feel alone and all that shit, but I'm telling you, it's, it's you living off the wall, G. That's what it is to be ascending and like not know where God is taking you, but you just trust him. You literally just living day by day and have no clue what the fuck is going on. That's just how that shit go, man. That's what's happening to you, Gemini. God is, go you're going to wake up. You're going to see it. 
You're going to see it. But I feel like right now, going into November, you may be a little confused about what's going on. But the writing's on the wall. That's what I keep hearing. Like, writing's on the wall or off the wall or some shit like that. Like, you're about to go maybe off the grid to to ascend and go up this ladder here, you know what I mean, towards the light. And I don't mean that physically, of course. God bless all of y'all, right? But I mean just in this body, in this life, like you are starting to see what God is showing you, basically. And this uh, temperance card, I feel like will be flipped upright. I do. I feel like right now you're just like, what the fuck is going on? I'm, I don't understand. I'm losing shit. People acting funny and shit. Coming for my money. All kind of shit. I believe you, man. I see it. I don't think you crazy. I feel like God was trying to warn you about this shit and the writing was on the wall the whole time. You just didn't see it. You were somebody in regards to you. Okay, in regards to love, that's kind of touched it a little bit, but I do feel like there's a relationship here. Could be with the water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini here. You don't know if that motherfucker really loved you at all or did they just want your money and shit. Because after they get your money, they told them, don't you ever come around here. They only want to fuck with you, Gemini, after they get the coin or you don't want to fuck with them. Don't want to see your facial banner disappear. Distant horizons, five of pentacles. They'll cheat you and they'll beat you. Yes. And they'll tell you it's fair, but beat it. You know what I mean? It's almost like us. So whoever this person is, is like, say y'all have kids. Why well, need money for little Lisa? Because school's starting and she's in the Christmas play. And it's like $500. And I promised them that she would be Rudolph this year. And her nose has to glow. It has to glow, Carl. Right? They'll cheat you and they'll beat you and they'll tell you it's fair. Bitch, her nose ain't got to go. You better put some red paint on that motherfucker. But nah, they'll cheat you and they'll beat you and they'll tell you it's fair. You do anything for your kids, Gemini, or a cross watcher, so you're going to make sure that little girl knows light the fuck up. Basically, you're going to pay $600 for a light bulb on your kid nose? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, somebody's spouse can manipulate them like that just to pay for some old fragranarchal bullshit. Damn. That could be throwing you off too, Gemini. Well, motherfucker don't know where they money coming in. It's like sand in your motherfucking hands. It can't throw you off with the damn temperance reverse. Somebody's on edge or nervous or anxiety or impatient about, I feel like, where their money is coming from. Two of Pentacles is out here. Only Pentacles out here is two of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, which rich losing money, and nine of Pentacles. Don't have none. You know what I'm saying? Don't have none. Somebody, uh, what's in your wallet? Somebody is capital one in your ass, Gemini. Are you capital one in somebody else, G? Real shit. Damn. That's in a relationship, Joe. I feel like uh, you or somebody, Gemini, is trying to decide, do they still want to be in this relationship? I don't. Th that's probably why God is like, <clears throat> motherfucker, how many notes I got to send you, bitch? The writing is on t -wall. Okay? <laughs> this is your spirit guys talking. They on the PA system. Uh, hello, uh, Gemini. Uh, yes, motherfucker, leave. Basically, we are trying to take you places, Gemini. And that little raggedy motherfucker you got with you can't go. You know what I'm saying? That uh, selfish person, greedy person, whatever person this is, that's just money hungry is what I'm feeling. They can't go, G. They can't go. I feel like too, Gemini, some of you guys need to make a decision between two people. But I feel like it's really not a decision between two people. I feel like you have left someone or someone has left you, Gemini, and they don't want to rush into another relationship. But it's making them uneasy because they want the person. They want this whole new Lady Gaga mature ass motherfucker. They want new love, a new opportunity with somebody else. I don't, well, I'm picking up that they're scared to do it. Maybe because they ain't got no money because the last spouse is raping, <laughs> raping their wallet, right? Raping that wallet and shit. So don't nobody want to go meet no new motherfucker with one fucking Buster, Dave and Buster's token. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck we going to do with that? I feel like somebody has a... Uh, Wants to go to someone else, but I feel like their past relationship has brought them down so low. Like somebody has been in a relationship where their spouse took them down so low that their self-confidence just shrunk the fuck up. You or them, Gemini. Somebody's did. Somebody's did. Damn, Jimmy. Let me see what else I see here. Somebody reacts in this relationship, Gemini, and I feel like this is a past one. I feel like these people are separated already, but maybe they still deal with each other for children. There's a Knight of Cups and a Knight of Pentacles out here, right? Maybe there's a Gemini. If you're a man, you're probably older than the woman that had that you had kids with, and that bitch is just, I don't know. That bitch always want to go out and, I don't know. I feel kind of like a... Uh, Two different people, and I know opposites attract, but the mature man, he look like he go to bed at 7, and Lady Gaga look like she get up at 7 p.m. You know what I mean? Like, this this feels like two different people who got together, and I feel like they're kind of 
either growing apart or God, like I said, put the writing on the wall, the writings on the wall. And these two or somebody in this relationship is still trying to, uh, is still connected to this shit, but they ain't physically y'all. I don't see these people to fucking get there. I don't. I just see somebody getting raped in their wallet, wanting to move on to somebody else or thinking about it or whatever, uneasy about that shit because of the past relationship. They don't even know what the fuck is going on there. They have no clue what their money is going to be. I feel like anybody, I, when I'm being told for a couple of y'all, people that are worried about this money, Gemini, it's okay to worry about it, but don't love the shit. That's when it fucks up because God's authoritative ass thumbs are, are out here. And the root to evil is the love of money basically so don't love that money jimmy because then it will start to disappear and dwindle that might be some of the writing on the wall too some of y'all may have been worshiping money way too motherfucking much and god was like oh okay well i'm gonna tell the money to beat it basically i'm gonna tell the money to beat it see how the fuck they get down are they gonna come to me or lead a church using church meaning just god period you know what i mean like uh i tried to make them go to rehab says god to come to me but they say no 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 right they can't take a knee because they wearing all white white is the color of i mean when you wear white as far as uh spirituality is concerned it's to be purified made anew and shit i feel like a lot of y'all that's why i said god is taking shit or y'all are losing shit but god this is a test here to see if you're gonna come to him and he wants to know if you love money more than him or if you love him more than money or whoever the fuck this person is i feel like gemini you or somebody in regards to you god is allowing someone to take your money <laughs> really i feel that god is allowing someone to take your money to see where your loyalty lies you know what i mean to see if you're gonna go out there and uh, just enjoy yourself living off the wall and shit or you gonna worry about that nine to five and not put it on the shelf money 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 I feel like y'all don't see that yet you are somebody in regards to you yo you will though in November I feel like for some reason I cannot tell you why but I feel like it's you're gonna know with the spirituality card Jacob's Ladder and the uh, solitude card there's no way unless you just stay the fuck like this crazy and shit and just think you cuckoo I don't know but I don't think uh if you do, then I guess that would be the person who loves money so much that they going so fucking crazy that they can't see that this is a, an act of God. You know what I mean? So then I guess God can tell, well, this motherfucker love money. They can't even see it. Hi, God is like, hello, hello. Like the damn, what was that commercial back in the day? Was it Marshall's? They'd be like, open, 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 right? God banging on the window and shit. You still don't see him? He like, yeah, this motherfucker love money way more than they love me. Just checking, bye, right? That type shit. That's gonna be for some of y'all. That just can't let go of the fact that you need to know what the fuck is going on and just stressing about money. Like I said, it's not, um, I'm not saying that it's not okay to worry about money because we all do it, but it's the love of money. Like you're worrying about it for what reason? Like I won't even be able to wax my new Mercedes on Sunday. My buffalinos need to be shine. Like all that shit. Nah, nah. That's, I feel like God is separating the wheat from the chaff, Gemini. This is either somebody you dealing with, Gemini, or this is you, G. One of the other. Let's see how this person feels about you, Jenny. How does this person feel about Gemini? Okay. Damn, this motherfucker wishy-washy the motherfucker. Same shit, they had the two of pinnacles. Could be a water sign like I told you. That motherfucker wishy-washy. They be like, yeah, everything's good. Remember, Lisa's nose has to light up for Rudolph. They chose her for the, you know what I mean? For the lead in the play. And then you'd be like, man, why the fuck Lisa knows gotta light up? Why we can't put the paint on? Because Lisa is! <laughs> you know what I mean? This person wishy washy than a motherfucker with you. Gemini. How they feel about you? They happy when you give them shit. They mad when you don't. That's what I'm hearing. There's somebody that you gotta constantly uh, do a song and dance for. Damn. I don't really wanna say that, but I know what y'all talking about. I ain't gonna say that though, y'all. But I know what you mean. Yeah, somebody, they basically, uh, Gemini, this person is happy when you entertain they motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't entertaining and shit and, you know what I'm saying, doing acrobatics and shit, this motherfucker get mad at you. <laughs> you like the court gesture and shit. That's how this person feel about you, G. Or you feel this way about them. Like, entertain me more, basically. Like, what the fuck? Did you just call me? Two of swords. This is how this person feels about you. This is my feel no ways card. I should be downtown whipping on the way to you. Right? I should be. I should be doing the same shit that you do for me, Gemini. All that shit. But I feel no ways. Until you do some shit for me, then I'm happy. But if you ask me to do some shit for you, I'm upset because I feel no ways. Why would you ask me to do anything for you, Gemini? You or them. But I'm feeling like this is how this person feels about you. You can't ask them for shit. You can't ask them for shit. One on the two of swords. Why? 
Oh, because they just turned their back. They, this is somebody that's strictly worried. I'm asking how the fuck they feel about you. So if I just took this to you, they don't even know what they're doing with you. They don't even know where this is going, manifesting, nothing. Nothing. I feel like if there ain't no coin involved, Gemini, they ain't fucking with you or you ain't fucking with them. This is this. But this person turns their back on you when you need them. Like the fuck I said. Like the fuck I said. This somebody don't even fucking say thank you when you give them shit. So say you do put the light on Lisa's little nose and shit for the Christmas play. Ain't no thank you. And you didn't even get invited. Like, well, bitch, can I come see my daughter with a motherfucking nose light up or not? Nah? Why? <laughs> you, I'll take pictures. This is somebody that's just... Gemini, I feel a real, like, uh, using vibe here. Somebody that gets frustrated easily, and not even with you. I'm picking up somebody that gets frustrated with their own life. This person who gets money from you or whatever they get from you, Gemini, I don't know because we're talking about love. This person is deep down mad because they can't get the shit they motherfucking self. That's what the shit boils down to, is that this person can't manifest shit for themselves. You manifest shit for them. And, the, and this the motherfucking thanks I get, bitch, right? That type shit. This person has no respect, Gemini. You or them, I don't know who the fuck this is. Somebody ain't got no motherfucking respect here. I feel like you don't know what the fuck's going on. All you really want is to be happy. With the two of swords and the happy card, Gemini's like, what the fuck did I do, bitch? I bought the bulb. Shit. Right? Can't satisfy this person, Gemini, never. This person is just an angry person, period. From shit that they wanted in their life that never came through, that never came to pass and shit. They just, this is just an angry person, G. <laughs> this is an angry motherfucker. They be happy one minute and sad the next. Yeah, that's how they feel about you, Gemini. You could be dealing with another Gemini, but the lovers came out. They, they stay in this relationship, or you do, or y'all have some type of connection, but this is a concrete-ass pair of lovers. This cracks all in the stone and shit, cracks in the foundation and shit, birds shitting on them and shit, like, uh, shit it on them. Look. Man, I just shitted on them. That's what I just heard when I asked how they feel about you. Put your number twos in the air if you shitted on them. Look at the two of swords, dude. Come on. This person be shitting on you, Gemini, or you be shitting on them. I don't give a fuck. That's what this shit say. And the writing's on the wall. That's what I'm saying. That's what God's been trying to tell you, man. But you've been in Harpo's juke joint. You ain't been in the church. That's why this lovers is reverse, Gemini. But I feel like you are going to see this here. Maybe y'all need to hear this message. I'm being told some of y'all when this message hits, I'm told it's going to hit hard. A lot of you motherfuckers going to be mad at me. Get no fucks and feel no ass. Right? I'm trying to save your soul here. Get no fucks. This is a man's world. Boom, 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 boom. This is a man's world. James Brown came out on top of that, how they feel about you. I told you this motherfucker selfish. Don't have to be a man or uh, it doesn't have to be a male energy. Could be a female. But what I'm saying is it's their world. That's why they mad. They could never manifest shit on their own. So now they're frustrated. Now everything that they get, they hoard. That's why I was telling you, God was testing you, Gemini, to see if you hoard. If you're a lover of money, because you're with somebody that's a lover of money and not a lover of God, dude. It's a, you, you're not supposed to love anything of this world. Nothing. It says it in the Bible. What is that? John? First John or some one of them disciples? It's in there. It says it. You cannot love anything in this world. You should not be a lover of anything in this world. This person loves material shit and you are with this person or want to be with this person and God is trying to separate you and show you the difference. And I feel like you just want to be happy with this person. I don't understand why the fuck it ain't working, says Gemini with the two of swords and the happy card. You starting to get frustrated. Like I've done everything this bitch asked me to or do. I, I don't know what else to do, Lord. I don't. What is this? The big payback? I don't fucking understand, says Gemini. Dude, I don't either, G. You just got a rat ass motherfucker around you, an ungrateful ass motherfucker who couldn't do shit for themselves. That's all. That's all. And now they want you to do shit. Or they expect you to, actually. Well, damn. It, it's not going to be like this for long. And I feel like I really don't want you to lose any more things and lose any more. Uh, I mean, honestly, I do, <laughs> Gemini, but I only say that because the more alone you are, the louder you can hear God. So that's the only reason why I say I kind of do want you to lose these things just so you can become closer to them. But I feel like you shouldn't have to. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have to. But the writing's on the wall. You just don't see it yet, Gemini, or somebody in regards to you, G. Advice for Gemini. The mixer came out. Yeah, uh, it's that same Michael Jackson song. And just enjoy yourself. Let the music and the madness, let the, let the madness and the music get to you. Yeah, life ain't so bad at all living off the wall. Get mixed up and shit, some new shit. I feel like what this is saying, Gemini, there's people out there, I feel like uh, Gemini or someone in regards to you, they have a, 
ideology about people and relationships and shit because of the shit they've been in. And they've kind of been like brainwashed a little bit. You or them, Gemini, I don't fucking know. But somebody needs to get out there and see that life ain't so bad at all living off the wall and shit. Get in the mix, meet some better people. You're ascending, Gemini, whether you want to or not. You're being woken up right here. You know what I mean? How you choose to do it, willingly or unwillingly, that's up to you. But it's almost like uh, maybe you got a task to do and that's why God ain't giving up on you. He wants you out there, outside, in the world, in the mix, see some shit, meet some people. Like this motherfucker ain't the end all be all, Gemini is what they telling me. It's going to change your view of people, how good. That's why they always say, Gemini, if you, <laughs> if you uh, ever notice that strangers are better to you than your own family and friends, it's real shit. People on YouTube show me way more love than my friends, than my family, or any of that shit. And it's not to say my family and friends don't show me love, but it is true that strangers will go, strangers see more in you. You know what I mean? Because it's just, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but that's what this is saying. Get out in the mix. There's people out there that are wanting to uh, love you, Gemini, help you out, get you back acclimated into shit so that lover's car can be flipped up and shit, and you just, I feel like your intuition is already telling you that shit though, to get out. This mixer says aid on it. That's the only word that I can see is aid on this card. That's what I'm saying. Get out there. There's people out there for you, Gemini. Advice. Ten of swords. Yeah. It's almost like you got to end some. This is you ending some shit and then getting out there. You know what I'm saying? Living off the wall, G. Living off the fucking wall, dying to the flesh. That's why God is taking this shit. This is dying to the flesh. Surrendering all that fleshy shit, money. I told you he want to know how much you want money. That's why if you notice, ain't really no pinnacles out here. So I'm, I'm taking it as, you know, you're losing some type of asset, relationship, uh, job, whatever the fuck. You're losing something. But it's supposed to be that way is what I'm picking up on with that Ten of Swords. One with the Ten of Swords. Queen of Pinnacles, told you. Yeah, it's also telling you to end a relationship with a money hungry motherfucker. Male or female could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. But I feel like this is just a motherfucker that only fuck with you for your money. Or this is you. And then this is the other person. What they need to do is end that shit with your money hungry ass and mix with other people like minded souls and shit. You know, that's what this is. But this is also saying don't be a lover of money either. Gemini, I told you the love of money is the root to all evil and shit. This is surely a test. Surely, the Hierophant card came out, God's authoritative ass thumbs and shit. Surely, this is a test, G. To see where your uh, love lies, really, you know? I always say the trial's a joke. That's what this looks like. But it's hitting your money and shit. But it's actually somebody hitting your money that you feel obligated to. Could be married to this person. Advice. Yep, I said that. Could have children with this person. So for some of y'all, I'm told, don't, don't believe the hype and shit. Don't get mixed all up in this person's bullshit. Talking about, well, Sarah's nose and Lisa's nose need to light the fuck up. No, the fuck it don't, bitch. What's Sarah's teacher's phone number? Let me ask her why the fuck the nose cost $600, right? Talk to Sarah's teacher. She like, 600 the nose is free. We provide all the kids with the costumes. What? Bitch was gaming your ass. Shit it on them. I feel like this is a saying, investigate some shit, Gemini. Get in the mix. Don't believe what everybody telling you. Don't believe everything you read, big baby. Don't believe everything you're reading, what everybody telling you. Well, I did tell you to read and shit what you signing up there, but I was using the Tupac shit. But yes, it's almost like, find out for yourself, Gemini. I feel like somebody duping you, G. I really do, but I feel like they're uh, using things. They're using excuses that you could not say no to. You could not, you could never say no to your kid, Gemini. Look like you a good parent if this is you. So yeah, you're gonna pay the $600, but something's fishy, something ain't clean to the milk. Why the fuck that shit cost that much? Using that as an example, this is this shit. Get up in the mix and shit that don't feel right. Use your intuition, that's what it said. Hone in on your divination skills. You are attached to God, he's been trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Use that shit. I feel like your shit is like already there, ready to be tapped into. It's just, you don't trust it with that temperance reversed up there. It's true though. Put one on here for Gemini's advice. Janice Joplin. Look, and normally I don't like her because her titty be falling out and she high and shit and got on rose colored glasses, but this is still, let the music and the madness get to you. Life ain't so bad at all living off the wall. Janice Joplin look free. No, the bitch ain't got on no bra. That's a free bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like get out there, mix and mingle. It ain't about money and business all the time. I feel like a, there's two sides, to, well, of course, there's two sides to Gemini, but I feel like for this particular Gemini or whoever this applies to, there's a, somebody identifies with themselves with their money or what they make or what they can do or something like that, and that ain't who the fuck you are. So God is taking that to see who you really are so you can see who you really are. 
Who are you, Gemini, without money and this person and all this other shit? This is you or them, Gemini. That's what's going on in November, G. Damn, y'all shit deep. Off the wall, literally. All right, Jenny. That's been your reading for November. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Gemini. Give no fit next. Still, thank you for visiting my channel and my trip in Hernan Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.